Hey, Decay Destiny crew, Carl Spredis here. Thanks for joining me for another Decay Destiny Daily Dose. Decide to create time every single day so that you can work on bringing that vision to life. You know, we go through our days in a very routine way or we've got things that we didn't quite complete yesterday, the day before that we need to get through in the next day or things that are frustrating us or things that, problems that we want to get solved quickly so that we can get onto the next thing just creeps in and pops up and kind of consumes and overwhelms our day if we allow it. But what's really important is actually finding that time in your day to work on that vision, whatever that vision is, that vision of where you want to live, that vision of what you want to be, that vision of you know, what changes you want to make, the weight you want to get to, the health you want to get to, the, the you know, new vitamins you want to take, the new project you want to take, the new collaboration you want to do, um, the new ways that you're going to challenge your comfort zone, whatever they are, those visions of yours, spend time every single day and create the time in your day because what will happen is you'll just go from one day to the next, roll on, roll on, roll on, and days will start to come together. And in a little while you'll go, oh my gosh, all this time has gone and I haven't done the things that I really want to do. And spending time on your vision every single day allows you to actually break the day up and feel good at the end and go, I spent a little bit more time on something that was of intrinsic value or something that was beyond just the numbers and the, and, the, and the physical material parts of my day, but something that was a little bit more you know, etheric, a little bit more my, my whole destiny, my whole future, my whole, um, my whole journey taken into account while I was spending time doing that. And I was just watching a video and listening to um, this amazing artist talking about how she creates art. And she was kind of communicating the process. And she said she had this teacher that said, whenever you are thinking ideas, whenever you've got ideas flowing through you, have a pencil and a paper in front of you, always. Never be without a pencil and a paper in front of you when you are thinking you're constructing ideas. I just thought that was so brilliant. You know, in our digital world, how often do we do that? And one thing she was talking about was a design that she created, a big design where, you know, like a, where humans were interacting with it and, and you know, like it wasn't a for sale artwork, it was a, a like human expression artwork that involved beings walking through it and, and you know, and experiencing it and using it and, and moving it little, um, you know, graphics that moved and moving through this labyrinth and this maze. And where she got the idea, which I found very interesting, was she got it through, you know, looking at mazes and labyrinths and, and different sort of things and she built it bit by bit. But one of the things she said was, back in the ancient Greek times, the Roman times, people were building labyrinths in many places in the world at the same time without any knowledge that the other civilization was building mazes and labyrinths um, in their cities and their towns. Uh, they, they had no idea that they were all doing it. And that made me really think, it was quite interesting, it was, it was looking at, all right, in terms of that, that, that vision that the people wanted, where did that come from? Where did that vision come from that these people were spending their days building? Where did that vision come from? For her, it came from her search. And she said, get, said, get rid of the re and just look for that search. What are you searching for? And for these people, what they were doing, they were building something, but, but where did that come from? Like it didn't come from an inspiration from another town, it came from something within them. And the interesting thing about the labyrinth and all these different designs is that when you look at our body, when you look at our lungs, when you look at different um, vessels, those sorts of things, a lot of the things that we design in the world actually come from within and actually come from the design that is within us. So it's almost like we are breathing through what is deep within us out into the world, out into the physical design, out into the visions that we are creating physically in the world. And I just thought that was such a magnificent way to think of it that it's not always something that we grab out here and we pull back into us. Oftentimes it's something that is in us and we pull out of ourselves. So look at that. That's where you can have an idea out of nowhere. You can have a sketch, you can have a, a passionate moment, a, a moment of flow and, and just you know, rejuvenation and a moment of absolute euphoria and, and a moment of um, inspiration that you can't really describe because it's what's going on inside this heart and soul, this being, this deep person that you are that you haven't tapped into yet. Maybe you have, but you can always tap deeper and deeper into. That's where all of this is coming from. So anyway, guys, that was quite an inspirational thing that I found today and I just wanted to share it on with you as well and just find that time Crack away some of that time. Maybe it's early in the morning, the first hour of the morning. Maybe it's at the, at the afternoon. Maybe it's in the middle of the day, just so that you can spend a little bit of time 
working on your vision, working on what you want to create, working on what you want to bring into this world, working on what you are here to be doing and the people you are here to help. And the way that you can actually, you know, elevate human consciousness to the next level. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. Appreciate you, you know, being here on the other side of the camera and share it around if anyone else um, you think this might resonate with, might connect with. And as always, remember, decide your destiny. Cheers.